Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Cobalt 8 by Modal Electronics. <laughs> so the Cobalt 8 is an 8-voice virtual analog synthesizer by Modal Electronics. So this is essentially the third video I've done on, well, modal electronic synthesizers. I've done a video on the on the Craft Synth a while back and recently I've done a video on the Argon 8M and I'm gonna make sure to link to all other videos right down there in the description. Uh, for now, before we start, I want to thank Modal Electronics for making this video possible by offering to well, provide me with one to, uh, to film this with. Um, but for now, we'll just say, well, make sure you're sitting down Hope you guys are going to enjoy this because um, here we go. As said, this is going to be an interesting review. Um, Modal has been kind enough to send over the Cobalt 8, the regular Cobalt 8. Whereas previously for the Argon 8, they sent over the M version of the Argon 8, which is essentially just the, well, just the synthesizer bit of it. And just like the Argon 8 series, the Cobalt 8 has three different versions. So you've got the Cobalt 8M, which is essentially just like the Argon 8 that I did a video on, just this part of the synthesizer. Then you've got the regular version, which is this one that they send over, and that includes a 37 key well, keyboard which is of course grand and I do have to say it plays like a dream but just don't take my words on it because I'm of course no uh, keyboard virtuoso but I've been guaranteed by people who know a lot more about playing keys that this plays absolutely fantastic. It is of course velocity sensitive and it has full aftertouch so you can really play this and press down a bit more and play with that if you want. So that is all nice, great and dandy, but what is the main difference between the Cobalt 8 series and the Argon 8 series at the same time? Well, the most important thing is, of course, it's the color. This is a nice, well, let's call it a bit of a reserved color of blue. And I truly love the, the overall aesthetic. I, I, I do like this this color uh, a, a bit more than I like the uh, the dark gray that the Argon 8 had. And I, I have to say, I already love the Argon 8 from an aesthetic point of view. So this just blows it out of the water, so to say. And other than that, it's again, it's that great build quality. If you hold on to this, it's got a quality feel and it just, well, I'm really impressed with what Modal has been able to do on the on the both the Cobalt 8 series and on the Argon 8 series. But all joking aside, there are of course much more differences between the uh, the Argon 8 series and the Cobalt 8 series. So the Argon 8 was of course a wavetable synthesizer, whereas the Cobalt 8 that we're looking at today is of course a virtual analog synthesizer. So this has full eight voice polyphony and it's got a total of 64 oscillators. So how do we then use those oscillators and how do we actually get, well, wave shapes into them? So what we have is we've got two algorithms that we can indeed play with. And these algorithms can of course be mixed and matched just like you uh, would expect. And the nice thing is you've got a grand total of 40 different algorithms. I'm not going to dive in all of the, into all of them because that way I would just <laughs> end up with way too, uh, way too uh, much video and I'll need to, uh, I, I can't, I can't put that on to, uh, you, my audience, to do uh, such a long video on that. And all of those algorithms then of course have certain parameters that you can influence. So for instance, let's have a look at this uh, first one. Um, let's go into the um, the PWM and then you can see that you've got two parameters, the, the width itself and the spread. And those will then of course, well, vary per algorithm and you can then, once you've designed your, your actual algorithms and your wave shapes, 
uh, for both one and two. You can mix between that, which can of course also be, well, it's just a great thing. And you can truly tinker for hours on end with this. So what I've done <laughs> when I when I just got this one, I've actually gone through all of the algorithms and all of the, the tunes and just held one key down and just made sure I was able to listen to everything of that. And I was just impressed with what you've got there. So on top of the, I believe it's like 400 uh, presets that you've got, all the, 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 the 400 patches that you've got here, um, there's of course room to add your own, uh, but there's so much to this thing. And given that this is a 64 oscillator synthesizer, this is gonna blow everything away. But enough about that. Let's talk a bit more about the rest of the uh, user interface. So you've got your uh, your LFOs there. You've got your oscillator settings there. You've got your actual your modifications here. You've got the well, the modes that you've got. So as with the uh, with the argon, you you do have a way to to switch between uh, mono, mono, polyphonic, unison, and stack, and then the the, the variations between them. Um, you've got your encoders here, which you can use to uh, navigate the menu, um, the actual selector there. So I, I was just playing around with the first patch, the model load, and then you've got the well, all of the other things that you can use here, where you can do things like saving your patches, playing with the arpeggiator, playing with the sequencer, and all of those well, settings there too. Then you've got your, your effects part there and you've got your well your envelopes here. So again, you've got your filter envelope, your uh, amplification envelope, and you've got your, mod, uh, your modifier envelope and you've got your volume there too. Which, and, and this is probably just me uh, being such a noob. Um, the volume is of course great, you can work with that but I'm always afraid that I'm going to touch that and mess up my recordings. So I would love to have something that I can look that with, but maybe that's just me. And then here front and center, you've got your, well, the, the, the great filter that they've included there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how that works. So that's one thing around with the actual one you can add some resonance to it and you can actually change the the filter shape there you go i just love the the warmth that that filter brings to everything here so as with all well uh current modal synthesizers, uh, you can indeed use this with the modal app, which is gonna give you a lot of insight into what all of the settings are and where they stand. And as these are almost exclusively, um, well, endless encoders, uh, this will give you all of the settings in one single glimpse. So I'm now using the modal app here on Windows, uh, but you can also use this on Mac, on Android and on iPad OS and iPhone OS or iOS because it used to be iOS but now they've got iPad OS and you've got iOS but yeah enough about Apple there uh, but this is of course a great companion because it does offer a more visual approach to your settings and it does help in setting up the exact sound that you want to get from your Cobalt 8 so I just quickly want to do the same thing that I did uh, when I reviewed the Argon 8. I'm just going to go through some of the presets. I'm going to play some sequences. I'm going to play some arpeggiators. So just so you can have a bit of an understanding of what the actual, well, synthesizer sounds like. So let's just uh, have a quick look at that. Oh, let me just go back here. Load the model loads. There we go. And I'm just gonna play some of the, the presets here and I might just uh, dabble around, change some parameters here or there. Um, but again, if you do want me to do a video on some of the uh, on some of the other presets or if you want to have ask me to dive into a certain parameter, just drop a comment below and I'm sure to uh, 
be able to accommodate that. So uh, I would say uh, let's listen to it. That's of course, <laughs> well, if that's the, the start of this, then you know we're in for, uh, for a treat here, right? So I'm just gonna go through some of these and I'm not, not gonna stop between them. I'm just gonna let you listen to it. Sounds a bit like the um, Mortal Kombat soundtrack, if you ask me. Mortal Kombat! Sorry. a very 90s sound if you ask me. Tremolo Rise. So this 
this is again one of those that are that just blow me away, right? the same sequence as playing but I think that we are getting a quite a good insight into what's capable with the Cobalt 8 right let's just uh, stop that and just uh... And I can just keep on going and just keep playing all of these presets and just tinkering with some of the parameters here. But um, on the one hand, I want to do that and I just want to show you everyone just all of the presets and everything that's possible with this. Uh, but part of the joy of this synthesizer is that journey, is that, that, that exploration of everything that's possible. Um, and that doesn't stop with all of the presets that only begins your journey and it is such a well just a, such a lovely thing to play with and i think and i honestly think that you're going to spend weeks if not months just well exploring this this great synthesizer because whoa the sky is the limit and I, I, I simply can't stop playing with this and that's typically a <laughs> that's a big plus in my book so I'm just going to continue playing with this but uh, for you guys I'm just going to send you back to the studio to wrap this up and for now we'll just say uh, well uh, talk to you in a bit cheers bye bye so I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the Cobalt 8 by Modal Electronics. I've had a blast preparing for this video. I've had a great time filming this video and I'm still just playing with this great synthesizer every, every waking moment that I have some time left here or there. And that is of course something that, well, I'll need to explain that a bit further because on the one hand, I want to say that this has now become one of my favorite new toys, but I mean that with the most, well, most, with the biggest amount of respect, essentially, that it is because it's a very serious instrument. But at the same time, this synthesizer offers so much from a sound exploration point of view, 
where you can just spend hours and hours on end just well playing with all the parameters mixing and matching all of these algorithms making sure that you've got the the biggest the most nuanced the most bombastic whatever kind of sound you want you can create this with the cobalt 8 and i think that that's on the one hand that's it's it, that's one of its key strengths because you can do so much with it and I am just so happy that they've included so much presets uh, because that's going to save you a lot of time if you've got a well specific idea in mind that you want to have from a sound design perspective and you can use that from well, to start from so you don't have to start with a blank canvas every time because it it, it, it it's one of its <laughs> that's one of the well you might say that that's one of its strengths again where you have this ability to really lose yourself in this synthesizer and just have a great time at the same time but sometimes you just want to get something done and that's where the presets really come in and to, to well to make sure that you can get a running start when you do want to design something and I well I just have to say I've I've had the best time with this uh, synthesizer, so it, um, I don't want to send it back, but I have to, unfortunately. But still, I do want to thank Modal Electronics again for making this uh, video possible. And for those of you at home who have been able to, uh, well, bear with me during this video, thanks for joining. If you want to help out this channel, uh, please follow the links below. And other than that, I would like to say, everyone, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I uh, hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.